Here is another excellent question from my subscriber. Let us see how to solve it. It's based on exponential equations. Well solved. 4 to the power x plus 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 2 to the power of minus 1. Right? So let me rewrite this function. So we could write this as 4 to the power x plus. So that is the product rule, right? So it is 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of minus 1 equals to 2 to the power of minus 1, right? Now, minus 1 really means half, right? 1 over 2. So let's rewrite this as 4 to the power of x plus half of 2 to the power of x equals to half of just half, right? Now, we can multiply by 2 and rewrite this as 2 times 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals to 1. Bringing all the terms together, we get 2 times 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, this equation could be written in quadratic form, right? How? If y is equals to, let us say, 2 to the power of x, in that case, y square will be equal to 4 square x, which is same as 4 to the power of x, correct? So we'll make this substitution and write this as 2 times. So that 4 to the power of x becomes y square plus y minus 1 equals to 0. So now we get a quadratic equation. Do you see that? So that is the first step. So the first step which you learn is to rewrite as quadratic equation. Now we can use quadratic formulas, right? So let me rewrite this here. So we have 2 times y square plus y minus 1 equals to 0. Now let's factor it. We are looking for product of two numbers as minus 2 and sum of two numbers as 1. Clearly the numbers are positive 2 and minus 1, right? So we'll split this y in as 2y minus y. Do you see that? And we retain everything else. 2y squared plus minus 1 equals to 0. Now if I take a common factor here of 2y, I get y plus 1. And here minus 1 is the common factor. So we get y plus 1. Now y plus 1 is a common factor. That gives us 2y minus 1 equals to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation in factored form where we can easily find the solution. That gives us y equals to minus 1 and this gives us y equals to half. But what is y? y is 2 to the power of x which is always greater than 0, right? So, so minus 1 is not valid. However, this is okay. So we'll solve further with y equals to half. So for y equals to half gives us that 2 to the power of x is equals to half and that means 2 to the power of minus 1, right, is, is half, right? So or you could write 2 to the power of x is 2 to the power of minus 1. Half is 2 to the power of minus 1. 2 to the power of minus 1, correct? That is half. So from here, we get x equals to minus 1 as our answer. So the solution is x equals to minus 1. So that becomes the solution for the given equation, correct? So our answer is x equals to minus 1. You could verify. If I write x equals to minus 1, what do I get? So now the question is check. So if I write minus 1 here, I get 1 over 4 plus 2 to the power of 0, right? Which is, this is 1 minus 1, which is 0, equals to 1 half, right? So which is 1 over 4 plus 
minus 1 gives us minus 2, I'm sorry. So, so 1 over 4, 2 to the power of minus 2, which is 1 over 4, which is equals to half, right? So that is how you can actually check and verify your answer. So I'm sorry, this is um, minus 1. So minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So we get 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is half. So that verifies, right? Yeah. So that is how you can check your solution. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.